What up, what up, what up? Yeah, back for another one. Let's make Jamaican jerked pompano fish. Oh, yeah. Today's featured product is Value Markets Pompano Fish. And this freestyle recipe was inspired by Ricky Cherry. Let's go ahead and get this started. We got some Jamaican jerk seasoning. We got some Jamaican jerk seasoning uh, paste which was really good and some jamaican jerk sauce i didn't use that though but uh that's what i picked up today and we got our pompano fish never tried this but uh we're gonna make something amazing and uh go check out ricky cherry on facebook he's the one who inspired this recipe so shouts out to you homie all right we got our fish all washed off and uh Ready to be cleaned out, so uh, really nice, pretty looking fish. <laughs> About to be dinner, little buddy. <laughs> anyway, we got our uh, fish cleaned off her, and we're going to get ready to get these guts out so we can get this seasoned up, get it in the oven, get it cooked up. It's a quick little freestyle recipe on the ghetto gourmet today. And we're making, like I said, Jamaican jerked pompano. Uh, if you haven't tried this fish, it's a, it's a really good fish. With sweet like lobster, man. Nice, flaky, perfect fish. All right, we got our fish cleaned out. And uh, now it's time to prep it. Get ready to bake this sucker off. And uh, <laughs> I'm hungry, man. You keep playing with that pan, man. You gonna get that done. I'm hungry, man. Blood pressure, blood sugar's dropping. Anyway, if you don't want to do this part, uh, you can skip it. I'm just doing this because uh, really for no reason. Uh, <laughs> I just felt like removing it, you know, just in case. If I was making this for my kids, they definitely wouldn't want all this extra on there. So, remove the fins or leave them on for uh, presentation. Some people like to look at the whole fish. So, anyway, let's put some slices in this uh, fish so that it uh, absorbs more of the flavoring and seasoning you're going to put on it, more of the jerk sauce. And uh, give it a quick little wash before we season it up. Uh, I got an onion here. I'm going to chop up, die, you know, dice up into some nice little pieces. And uh, we're going to season the outside and the inside with the onion. And the uh, mandarin I have here. Orange, whatever you want to call it. Uh, cuties, <laughs> so people call them. My daughter calls him, can I have a cutie? Anyway, let's get this Jamaican jerk paste open. This stuff smelled wonderful. This is another featured product from uh, Value Market. You know, uh, don't get a whiff of that. Yeah, buddy. Smelling good, looking good. Anyway, I got that, uh, like I said, from Value Market. It was a... Uh, Pretty cheap, only like a dollar and a half, two dollars, something like that. So uh, let's get some of that in there, get that spread around, get that flavoring on the inside of this beautiful looking fish. Let's get some of these cuties in there, mandarins, sweet oranges, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Now, I could have put the whole orange in there, but I didn't want the zest. You know, these oranges have been sitting in my refrigerator for a little while, so it's probably pretty bitter if I would have left the uh, rind on there. So we're going to remove that. Get those mandarins up in there. Some of this jerk paste on the fish. So that soaks in to those little crevices and cracks. Uh and then I'm going to lightly dust it with the uh, jerk seasoning. That way, you know, it's not super overpowering, but you still get the 
flavoring from the jerk, both the jerk uh, seasoning and the jerk paste. Yeah, buddy, looking good, looking good. And uh, let's get some olive oil in there. You can use whatever oil you have on hand. Vegetable, olive oil, coconut. Coconut probably pretty, pretty good, but I didn't have any, so. Use whatever you have on hand. And uh, go season this other side over here. Back to this fish. I've never tried this fish before, but uh, like I said, Ricky Cherry from Facebook, one of my Facebook homies, he uh, said, man, you need to try this fish. It's really good. I said, I'm going to check around, see if I can find it. And if I can, I got you, buddy. And uh, man, I'm glad I did. Cause this fish tastes like a lobster. <laughs> Just get a lot more and it's a whole lot cheaper. And uh it's just delicious, man. Uh, anyway, I topped it with that uh, orange juice. And we're going to put some more onion on here just for some extra flavor. I'll get some of that in the pan just to get the aroma working. And off camera, I added a little bit of water to the pan. So, uh, you know, that onion's actually going to season that water. And that's going to soak in, too. So, oh, yeah. All right, let's get ready to bake this sucker off at uh, 420 is what I put it on for about 25 minutes. And uh, you can bake this covered or uncovered. Uh, it's your choice, really. I just wanted the crispy skin, so I left it uncovered. Yeah, buddy. 25 minutes later, here we have our finished product. Looking good. Looking good. Man, man, man. If smell o vision was real, you'd be slobbering on my TV and I'd have to put you out. But go on and soak that up for a second. And there you have it. A quick freestyle recipe by the Ghetto Gourmet Jamaican Jerked Pompano Fish. Oh, yeah. Once again, all the ingredients found in today's freestyle recipe can be purchased at Value Market, so give them a try. I'm open to all feedback. So leave a comment down below, a recipe, hit that like button, and subscribe. Oh yeah. And I know you guys never see me eat on camera, but please believe me. I tell this fish up, grizzly bear style. Look at that right there. Yeah, you ain't never seen no grizzly bear with a bottle of hot sauce. But you did today. Oh yeah. It's looking like a mini crime scene over here. And I know you wish you was here. But I ate all the fish, so your loss. Oops. <laughs> Until next time, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the Ghetto Gourmet's freestyle recipe. See you guys later. Keep on cooking.